previously on Assassin's Creed 3. That's right everyone, we have arrived in North America in the colony of Massachusetts Bay and in the city of Boston. Without any further ado or any other introduction, let's get right into it. Master Kenway! Master Kenway! Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle in. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought. Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Thief! Someone stop him! Oh, can we get him? No, no we can't. All right. Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover. Hold a moment. I need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. Well, thank you, Mr. Lee. And that leaves us to uh, our own devices. As we get to explore this wonderful city, it's a painstakingly recreated version of Boston which is a city that's really seen quite a lot of change since its founding in 1630. Um, even the Boston that we're in in this game today uh, it looks different from what it did in 1630 and it looks dramatically different from what you see in 2023. But we'll go over that in greater detail. I'll probably do a dedicated video on Boston itself at some point because I love the city, I've been to it many times, I live nearby, so may as well. Damned sprigs, this accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah. If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. Very interesting indeed as we get to meet our first historical figure that I really enjoy, Boston's probably most famous son, Benjamin Franklin. Um, he obviously has a great impact on American history, and I guess technically world history because of that. 
Um, but we will go more into Benjamin Franklin at a later date. For now, all we need to know that is at this time, yeah, he he was born in 1706, 1705, right around that time. So by this point, he you know he's getting up there in age, and um, yeah, he's already regarded as you know an important character, an important figure in this uh, colony. So it would be cool to see him, and he's definitely around. So. But that's enough about Benjamin Franklin. Let's try out the weapons. As I've mentioned before, they changed the combat system quite dramatically in between Revelations and 3. So it's going to take me a while. And you can see, yeah, we have rotating weapon wheels now, I guess you'd call them, um, that are triggered different ways than the previous games. Either way, we have the weapons we need, so we can uh, actually pursue our next mission or what I'm actually gonna do explore the city a little bit before we talk to Charles Lee who is a very interesting actual historical character in his own right but again that's for later on so just to give a little I guess context this is 1750s Boston bustling town but it's starting to be superseded by the likes of Philadelphia and New York so it kind of has that underdog feeling that I think it never loses, um, even to this day. But yes, it's a natural place for people to land coming from England. And uh, yeah, let's, let's move on. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not pry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. All right, I think we have our first location alert. I believe they're talking about the Green Dragon Tavern, which was a public house commonly um, used as like a gathering place for Freemasons and Sons of Liberty. That hasn't happened yet in our timeline, but it will eventually. Uh, very famous location, and um, unfortunately it was demolished in 1832. We can't go there today, to the exact same one anyway. But we get to revisit it now in Assassin's Creed 3. So thank you, Ubisoft. Let's go in. You lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. This way. All right, Charles. No need to yell, but I appreciate that you uh, know exactly where you're going because I have no idea. This is a beautiful little tavern. I wonder how accurate it really is. Oh, look at her. Now she's sweeping. Good on her. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. 
you'd best be off. Of course. Tell me about yourself, William. What's to tell? I was born in Ireland to Catholic parents, which I learnt early in life severely limited my opportunities. So I converted to Protestantism and journeyed here at the behest of my uncle. But I fear my uncle Peter was not the swiftest of men. He sought to open trade with the Kanyan Gahaga, but chose to build his settlement away from the trade routes instead of on them. I tried to reason with the man, but... <sighs> as I said, not the swiftest. So, I took what little money I'd earned and bought my own little plot of land. I built a home, a farm, a store, and a mill. Humble beginnings, but well situated, which made all the difference. So this is how you came to know the Mohawk? Indeed, and it has proved a valuable relationship. With still no mention from your contacts of the precursor site? No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no. Which is to say, they had their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moons, forest clearings, hidden caves, but nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals, no odd glows. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to them, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear it. To our success, then. And soon. Now here, we actually get to meet one of the more interesting characters that I think we'll meet not be much in this time period. He's got nothing more to say. William Johnson has an absolutely fascinating life. Probably, once again, every character that we're going to run into deserves their own video, and uh, probably will get one. But he in particular has already played a part in some intense colonial conflicts with local tribes, um, with local indigenous uh, populations, so... It's, it's fascinating that we get to meet him. You know, I know, historically, we know how he comes to an end. I won't spoil it or anything. But, um, yeah, he's he's got a part to play in the years coming up, no doubt. So, uh, it's, that's great that we get to run into him. Hopefully, we get to continue this streak of running into absolutely fascinating people from these time periods. Um, I guess I'll give a little snippet, a little tidbit. So he doesn't know this right now as he sits in um, in this bar, but he will be cast into the upcoming conflict, the French and Indian War, um, you know, almost immediately after our conversation. So good luck to him. That's a tough one. And if you want to learn more about that conflict, check out the uh, video I just published on the setting of Assassin's Creed 3. I'll link it uh, right here. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. I don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout, take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. Get into position, but wait for me to take the first shot. Okay, another character. Jeez, I feel like I'm just going to end up <laughs> talking over all of the action here. Thomas Hickey, n I have no comments, um, but wow, fascinating man himself. Um, don't look him up yet. Let's, let's let the game play out, but very interesting uh, in to uh, see him included here. So Go on now, before you make us mad. You two, clear off. Okay, we're going loud. I'm not sure what if that was the plan, or if I'm following any plan. But um, yeah, we're just gonna keep marching <laughs> and hope that this works. We're definitely killing a lot of people. I feel like maybe that's not great. 
There we go. Thank you, Thomas Hickey. You're right. There goes the element of surprise. Use those air muskets and you won't have to reload. Fall back! Fall back! We'll be safe inside! What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. H hate them. Are we just gonna let that guy tell us what to do? Are we? Is he in charge? Okay. Hey, all right. He's in charge. Tom said he's in charge. Not a problem. <laughs> on with your show then. Guess they wasn't so safe inside after all. Save your looting for after we found Johnson's research. Yes, Mars. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Oh, the game's gonna make me look cool. Absolutely nice. And I fluff it up, oh lord. Come on, combat system memory. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Well done, everyone. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Atham, this one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parked. Atham is so cool. <laughs> Shame. Sir. Back to the green dragon oh. then. I need a drink. All right, fair enough. Although this being an escort mission, um, I doubt it will be that easy. Careful, gents. We company. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this. Room. bodies is sure to have loot on them would be a shame to let it all go to waste are you mad in case you've forgotten we're in the midst of something oh why is you always got to go and spoil the sport okay so we're working with um some interesting personalities that work against one another that'll be hard to balance but uh, i'm sure we'll be able to handle it not a problem odd crew but let's continue on Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you need. The images on this amulet. Are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanyan Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! What? Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. All right. Well, that concludes this episode of Assassin's Creed 3 in our playthrough. But 
I will have those optional conversations with the characters and see what else we can dig up here because I think they're interesting. Charles Lee is the next mission, so move on from him. William Johnson, anything to say? I'll let you know as soon as I have something. Okay, nothing relevant. What about Mr. Hickey? Any news? Whispers of things. Nothing solid at the moment. I know you're looking for word of anything out of the ordinary. Dealing with temples and spirits and ancient times and whatnot. But, so far, can't say my boys have heard much. No trinkets or artifacts being moved through your... shadow market? Nothing new. Couple of ill-gotten weapons, some jewelry likely lifted from a living thing. But you said to listen for talk of glows and ums and strange sights, right? And I ain't heard nothing about that. Keep at it. Oh, I will. You done me a great service, mister. And I fully intend to repay my debt, thrice fold if it pleases. Thank you, Thomas. Place to sleep and meal to eat is thanks enough. Don't you worry, I'll get you sorted soon. Okay, that's <laughs> that's really interesting. Considering that he, you know, was kind of being portrayed as the fool, he seems like such a loyal young man. So hopefully, um, hopefully he pays dividends. Can we pick up the broom? No. But we're gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe for more Assassin's Creed content. We're continuing our playthrough as well as diving back into the previous games. Um, for our individual videos as well. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.